Good afternoon, everybody. I want to welcome you all to Brockton City Hall outdoor here in the amphitheater. Um, it's a special day uh, to discuss um, the history of the Philippines and the independence, and we're going to proudly hoist the flag raising in just a little bit. But we have two truly dedicated city employees. We have Len and Jessica uh, that are here today, and I would love them to uh, come up to the podium. Uh, I know we're going to get um, a summary of some history. We're going to have um, the symbolism of the flag. I'm going to read an official proclamation, and we're going to have some dance numbers as well before we actually um, go over and raise the flag. I do also want to recognize the city clerk, Tim Cruz, and today's a very busy day for the clerk and for the city council and for the mayor's office. It starts the city budget. So, again, today's a, a beautiful day weather-wise. I want to thank all the uh, city employees that are here today. I want to thank the school employees. I want to thank, more importantly, all the residents and business owners that are here today. But what I can do at this time, um, why don't I read the proclamation? We'll take a little bit out of order. Um, the official mayoral proclamation, and I'm probably going to read it as follows. Whereas the Philippines declared independence from Spain in the year 1898 after 300 years of colonial rule, whereas the people of the Philippines fought bravely alongside the United States of America in both World War I and World War II, and on July 4, 1946, the United States relinquished control of the Philippines, thus creating a truly autonomous and independent nation. Whereas the growth and prosperity of the city of Brockton is due in part to an ethnic diversity which includes the wonderful residents originating from the Philippines. And whereas the city of Brockton has been greatly enriched by the introduction of customs and foods and culture brought here by immigrants from the Philippines. Whereas it's an honor to recognize the accomplish accomplishments and contributions of our citizens of Philippine ancestry and to extend them best wishes for continued success and prosperity. Now therefore I, Robert F. Sullivan, who is the mayor of the city of Champions, Brockton, Massachusetts, proudly proclaim today, June 12th, in the year 2023, within our city of Brockton as Philippines Independence Day, and I respectfully urge all residents of our fine city to join me in proudly observing this day, and I sign and seal it today, the 12th day of June, in the year 2023. So today is a proclamation of Philippines Independence Day here in the city of Brockton. So at this time, I would, I would ask Lynn and, and Jessica to come to the podium, and we're gonna continue with the, uh, the wonderful ceremony. We have gathered here today to celebrate the 125th anniversary of the Philippine independence. A day when we remember the sacrifices and pay tribute to all the fighters' courage and valor. A day when we renew our pledge to uphold the values of democracy, unity, and peace. I am Lynn Demosthene. And I am Jessica Kabilis, and we are your hosts for today's program. It is our privilege and pleasure pleasure to welcome you all to this joyous occasion. I would like to extend a warm welcome to our esteemed guests, our very own mayor of the city of Brockton, Mayor Robert Sullivan, the city staff, and all of our family and friends who have taken time out of their busy schedules to be with us today. To officially start our celebration, I would... Um, opening prayer. <laughs> I, would, I would call for the opening prayer. Here we go. Let us um, bow our heads in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. With grateful hearts and thankful spirit, we want to praise you, Heavenly Father, for this opportunity to be able to gather as a community to commemorate our beloved motherland's Independence Day, though a thousand miles away. Bless each and every one that are here, and may we not lose sight that moments like this that reminds us of the strength and unity of our country. Bless the rest of the event and our times together. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lynn. Um, Independence Day is not just a holiday or a festival. It is a day of reflection and introspection. It is a day to recall the glorious past and to envision the bright future. And now to give us a glimpse and reminisce the Philippine history and its independence, I would like to call on Ms. Josette Ezra Kabilis.
Greetings, my fellow Bruktonians and fellow Filipino Bruktonians. Or, in our language, we'd say, Mabuhay! I want to welcome and thank you all with a hearty, hospitable greeting as we celebrate one of the significant dates of the Philippines, which is the Philippine Independence Day. This day, the 12th of June, formally indicates to us Filipinos and other nations that the Philippines has its absolute freedom for self-governance, freedom of self-expression, and freedom to use our voices. I want to say my sincere gratitude to Brockton and Mayor Sullivan for recognizing and establishing this historical day for us Filipinos to celebrate, commemorate, and recultivate our sense of pride along with Brocktonians and Filipino Brocktonians. As we all know, that Brockton is a diverse town that welcomes and embraces different cultures, which I think is a beautiful thing because our differences persevere us to stay truly authentic to ourselves and to also learn and understand that our differences can be a posi positive, impactful contribution. So thank you, Brockton and Mayor, Sol Mayor Sullivan. Really appreciate it. The path to achieving Philippine independence was not easy. For hundreds of years, our ancestors were overruled and overpowered by the colonizers who saw dominance by invading and claiming our country, its resources, and most of all, our ancestors' freedom. They became the victims of oppression and slavery of their own country as they were forced to abide by the rules of the colonizers. Hence, our, our ancestors courageously decided to put this to an end and retrieve back the rightful possession of their country and their freedom. On June 12, 1898, our first president, Emilio Aguinaldo, claimed the independence of the Philippines after the first colonizers submitted into defeat. The Filipinos thought of this as a good new chapter for reformation. However, other nations saw this as an opportunity for a replacement of foreign authority and dominancy. Thus, for another hundred years, the Philippines had its people faced with prolonged oppression and slavery as more colonizers battled each other and made the Philippines their battlefield. As the colonizers thought that the Philippines, Filipinos could never be empowered to authorize their own country, our ancestors proved them wrong by establishing a revolution. Thus, they were driven to fight many more battles. Although they had multiple defeats, our ancestors were resilient. They continued to be courageous and brave as they know that these battles that they partook in were for the future of the Filipinos, to let the future Filipinos be empowered to live with peace and sovereignty and to prosper with liberty. After many efforts and sacrifices that our ancestors have made, we have finally become independent. And so it is important that we celebrate this day to commemorate our ancestors because without their willingness to fight for us, we would not be able to be free from oppression, slavery, and colonialism. As this day highly commemorates our ancestors, it also serves as a reminder to us present Filipinos that we have the responsibility on how we are going forth as Filipinos. Since our ancestors paid their lives for the price of our independence, we must maintain it. There are many impactful ways of maintaining our independence, yet, Getting our education has the most impact as, ed as education is our foundation to anything, especially in creating decisions for our future. According to our national hero, Jose Rizal, he quoted, without education and liberty, which are the soil and the sun of men, no reform is possible. No measure can give the result desired. Education paves the way for creating revolutionary solutions that will be good contributions to our social and economical issues. As we now have complete authority over our country, the Philippines' economic and Philippine, Filipino social well-being is a priority. Education makes us strong-minded since we are tasked to think critically as it provides the cre and creates wisdom that highly influences our actions and thinking. 
this influ influential wisdom would then implement the well-being of us present Filipinos and the future generation of Filipinos. Our ancestors destroyed foreign governance not only because to free ourselves from oppression and slavery, but also because they believe we are capable of bettering ourselves and the Philippines rather than making ourselves inferior to anyone. Therefore, we must protect our hard-earned independence by being filled with knowledgeable wisdom so we can have a better future. As we now know about the history of our independence, we have to keep this history alive by making sure that our young Filipinos learn it. With this, they can analyze and explain problems in the past so it will not be repeated, then create better solutions in the future. Another quote from our national hero, Jose Rizal, that is very familiar to us Filipinos is, Kabataan ang pag-asa ng bayan. In English translation, the youth is the hope of our country. It is evident that the Philippines is a developing country. However, its current state does not completely define us. We have progressed from being silenced with annihilation to raising our voices with determination. We can show our young Filipinos that the Philippines and its people can do much more than what most assumed. The reason why I know this is because we Filipinos inherited our resiliency from our ancestors and the street of ours would create a perception to young Filipinos that they are living in a country or are surrounded with people of resiliency. Therefore, we must educate our young Filipinos about our history because when our time has come, when we ourselves have become part of it, we will depend on them as much as our ancestors depended on us. To conclude, I want to say to my fellow Filipinos or my kababayans that regardless of whether you are whether you are or not living in the Philippines, never forget your roots. Our roots show how our identity and values are shaped and forged that also creates a sense of belonging and connection. It is the best thing you have and should not be ashamed of it because it is rich with stories of our forefathers' victories and triumphs that can inspire us in life. And I know this may be a struggle for some Filipinos who were not born and raised in the Philippines, and we're not exposed or not given opportunities to immerse our, themselves in Filipino culture. Yet, it is never too late to explore Philippine culture as we Filipinos will, come you, will, wel will welcome you to teach with immense amount of hospitality and warmth. And I want to say that having one's own independence should not be highly acknowledged on Independence Day. It can be in our everyday lives. But this independence that we Filipinos have should be used for good through our works, services, and studies. Whatever challenges and difficulties we Filipinos may face, we must stand our ground and go forward so we can be a nation that our ancestors can be proud of. Therefore, let us continue to be resilient and be proud of ourselves as Filipinos. Thank you all. Maraming salamat po. Long live the Philippines. Mabuhay ang Pilipinas. Thank you so much, Gisette, for the very powerful message. And next, um, I would like to call Miss Helena Demostini to explain the symbolism of our national flag as we raise it proudly. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Helena Demostini. I'd like to thank all of you for coming today to be a part of this joyous celebratory event. The Philippine flag is partly inspired by the flag of the Katipunan, a group that opposed the Spanish government that ruled over the islands during the colonial period. The flag's design shows a strong influence from a variety of nations. The Philippine flag is noteworthy in that it is one of the only flags in the world that is displayed upside down when the nation is at war. It is a bicolor horizontal flag with equal bands of royal blue and scarlet red and a white triangle at the hoist end. Centered in the triangle is a golden yellow sun with eight rays. Each ray represents one of the country's first provinces that started the 1896 Philippine Revolution against Spain. And at each vertex of the triangle is a five-pointed golden yellow star representing the country's three main islands, Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao. This flag can indicate a state of war if it is displayed with the red side on top. The flag's color scheme also gives the Philippine flag meaning. 
The white section stands for liberty, equality, and fraternity. The red portion represents courage and patriotism, and the blue stands for justice and peace. Thank you. So I did read the proclamation already, but I want to give a, a quick shout out to, to Len and Jessica. Um, you know, in spite of COVID, um, these individuals are healthcare clinicians, right? They're nurses that work for the City Board of Health, and they personally save lives in our city of Brockton. So let's give them a round of applause at this time. So we'll go over now to the, to the flag, and then we're going to hear the national anthem. Okay. So as we prepare to hoist the flag, let us take a moment to reflect on the sacrifices of those who fought and worked to secure our freedom. And as the flag is raised, let us all stand together in respect and honor of our national flag as we sing the Philippine national anthem to be led by Miss Jessica Cabiles. To my fellow Filipinos, Ilagay po natin ang ating kanang kamay sa ating dibdib. Kayang magiliw, perlas ng silanganan, alab ng puso, sa dibdib mo'y buhay. Lupang hinirang, duyan ka ng magiting, sa manlulupig. Di ka pa sisiil sa dagat at pundok, sa simoy at sa lahat mong bagaw. May dilag ang tula at awit sa pataya minamahal. Ang kislap ng wataw at mo'y tagumpay na nagtiting. Ang bituin at araw niya kailan. May di magdidilim Lupa ng araw Nang lupat At pagsinta Buhay ay langit Sa piling mo Aming ligaya Na pag may mga api Ang mamatay Nang dahil sa'yo And now we have come to the end of our Philippine Independence Day cel celebration. It has been a wonderful and memorable day for the Brockton Filipino community. We would like to thank again our Honorable Mayor Robert Sullivan and the staff for giving us this opportunity and their support. Our fellow Filipinos who have gathered to celebrate the diversity and the unity of our nation, cherishing its beauty and its glory. And lastly, to our dear friends who have come to join us on this momentous day. On this 125th year of the Philippine independence, may we remember the sacrifices, our freedom fighters, and pay homage to their spirit. Let us pledge to contribute to the progress and prosperity of our nation and uphold its dignity and honor, even miles away from our beloved motherland. And on that note, to showcase our rich culture, we, we present to you the Napa Dance Group as we all enjoy some of the most sumptuous Filipino dishes and delicacies. We wish you all a very happy Independence Day and Mabuhay! Mabuhay! Good afternoon, everyone. I thank you for coming up uh, to support Aurora. She's the one that made this to happen today um, in her community and also uh, for Philippine community because she has been wondering, according to her, uh, anywhere she goes, she doesn't see a um, Philippine flag. And also on behalf of Vitri, uh, Vitri Human Services, which I represent, I'm Aurora's caseworker. I'm here to thank you all and also for your support and everything for coming today to support Aurora and um, I don't know, Aurora want to say something. Hi, good afternoon. Uh, we had a little bit surprising. Uh, we want to sing, celebrate my dear friend a happy birthday. Jessica, let's sing. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Jessica. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday.
13 to. <laughs> hip, hip, hip. Thank you so much. Thank you. While they are getting ready, I would like to uh, personally call, uh, thank Mayor Sullivan, as I have mentioned to him, I have affinity in this city. Two of my kids were born here and uh, we stayed, we, we live here for 10 years. I, I was telling him that we have uh, been in America for a long time and uh, we seldom see Phil Vintlake as Miss Aurora have mentioned. And I really, from the bottom of my heart, Mr. Mayor, thank you for recognizing our presence in your city. Thank you. The Napa dancers are... Uh, that's a good test. It means uh, our uh, music man is ready. Um, NAFA is a national uh, organization that uh, we perform all over New England to represent our country. We uh, espouse for the betterment of Filipinos. But they are, tonight, the first dance is La Wis Wis Kawayan, where it, it was a, it, it's a folk song uh, that originated uh, from the uh, Visayan region and became popular in Samar and, and in Tlaiti. In Tagalog, it was uh, uh, pre presented by Rosita Santa Maria and later made into folk song. And the dancers uh, seems to be ready. They'll be tossing uh, flowers and this to, to your hope, your satisfaction. They have a couple of dancers of their business. Okay. Can you, uh... Ready? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> 